Hello everyone. This morning I'm going to be working on the uh, 2009 C350. Uh, it's been giving me uh, error code P2004. I think that's the, the number for the code. So and that is that has something to do with the uh, this swirl flap here. This is a common problem with Mercedes. Uh, this particular engine M272 and also M273. This rod here is uh, is broken off of the uh, the I guess the actuator arm. So to get this one replaced, um, I have to take out the uh, manifold intake manifold. So completely take it out and then replace that unit. So um, you have two options. You can buy a kit, you know, like I did um, to replace this, or you have to uh, if you go to Mercedes, you have to buy the whole intake manifold assembly. They don't sell those parts so these parts I got it from um, pelicanparts.com so I put a link to the uh, parts on, on, on the description So as you can see here, I already got the engine cover off. I got the uh, mass airflow sensor off. I got this hose off. So yeah, I'm just gonna go like kind of clockwise, start from the back, and then work my way around, disconnecting everything. Let me show you again real quick. So this, you can see the tip of my screwdriver here. See this rod? that rod there it shouldn't be able to move like that so that's how you know it's broken besides getting the code okay so I got the uh, mass airflow sensor off next thing I'm gonna do is take off this uh, air what do you call it air diverter or something take off this piece comes off easily throttle body just connect that okay I'm using T30 take this out this whole thing got a come off there you go okay I need E10 and then I gotta go around and I don't have to look for it later. <clears throat> That's part of that rail. Another one here in the bottom. that rail okay next thing is this one here remove 
all the uh, spot plug wires. Try this one first. There you go. Gotta take these two screws out. This one there, one there. So I can get to the screw on the bottom to hold this harness in place. So making progress. So I think once I loosen the other side, I could move this whole unit toward the firewall to make room for to take out the intake manifold. I'm have to disconnect a few more connections back there. And then another one right there. That one there. Okay. I can move that a little bit. Okay, now move on to the uh, driver's side. Then this little connector right here, one there, one there, and I guess that one will come off too. This one, it is always a pain. Broke it. Brittle. Now that one goes all the way down there. Let me see if I can pry this metal piece off. And 
hopefully that will give me enough clearance. Okay, finally got it out. It might need to be replaced. It's cracked. There's this one here. Below that radiator hose, right next to the uh, belt. That's where I had that. This wire goes. So, get in there somehow. I got it out. Yep. Okay. All right, so it slides out like that. See, got pretty good clearance now, so I gotta look at. So, I'll take out the seal rail on either side. One thing I forgot to do earlier is take out the uh, uh, throttle body. I think that's pretty much it. 
Okay. See, I hope I don't have to disconnect the uh, fuel line. So I'm just gonna pry this out, pry the other side out, and then move it aside. Side is out. Be gentle. out so as you can see the uh, it's pretty dirty so I have to clean that up I'm replacing the uh, all the uh, o-rings so I ordered six of those I put a link in the description so you can order these ahead of time So there are eight, one, two, three, four, four on each side. vacuum hose down here right there up at an angle and that's it okay do a quick inspection I'm gonna vacuum this up wow it looks pretty, pretty nasty inside
Okay, so I'm going to need to replace the uh, O-ring for the fuel injectors from right here part number I'll put in the uh, description as well make it easier for you guys so Here are the uh, intake manifolds um, brand new and the old one I took off I couldn't replace that because See this right here is broken. Um, so the new unit came with the uh, gasket for the uh, throttle body. So I think what I'm going to do is take out the throttle body and then attach it. I remove the uh, throttle body from the engine. Clean it up real nice. So now I'm gonna put it on, attach it to the intake manifold. Okay, the uh, throttle, throttle body has been installed. Let's get some dirt here. So next thing I need to do is attach the uh, vacuum hoses. I pick up a new hose from the local parts store, the old one. So I'm going to replace it. Got two new gaskets. Part number. So I gotta press this thing down to keep it in place. Like this right here. I'm going to tie this down to make sure it won't fall off. So I get it in place and cut it. Pull it off.
And pull, lift it up slightly, pull it out. One end of it and pull it out. Got a torque wrench and then torque them in later. Okay, now I gotta start connecting everything back. Just want you to slide right in. Okay, I think I got this one. Uh, so the fuel rail, gotta go down first before I attach that one. Okay, so now I got them all lined up. I haven't pushed them down yet. So I think that's it. And then this one would attach here. Connect up all the connectors and then this unit sit on the top. injectors installed so you know lubricate all six of them and then put them in position and then press them in before you bolt them down open up the uh, the injector. All right, now I can plug this thing back in. Okay, I got all the uh, connectors in place, and then the uh, grounding. Tape this one up.
complete. Oops, one more connector. There. Vacuum hose. Okay, we gotta go out of the way. Dealing with all the connectors now. Actually, this one. No. Come on. This one goes to this one. This one slide. So, yesterday when I took this part, so here's the uh, clip. So when you take it out, when you take it out, you gotta go, gotta put like a needle nose or something, or a, a, a thin flathead screwdriver, and push down on this. So it'll be like, you know, pick two or something, and then you can slide it out. I was having a hard time with that yesterday. fit one way good thing which one go under this one gonna go under Fuel ejector. Right. right there.
Okay, finally got the last one in. I think I got everything in place except the uh, air filter and the engine cover. But I'm gonna try and start the engine real quick. Okay, I think everything looks good. I'm going to uh, put the engine cover back on. So right now I'm uh, going to clear the code. Okay. I'm gonna take it out for a test drive. Okay, so I'm driving around for about 10 minutes, so let's see. No codes. Excellent. Job done. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.